So again, thank you all for coming. My name is Zach Wasmuth. Um, I'm the Public Works Department here with Chris Coughlin uh, and Park Hastings City Engineer. And uh, we're here to come back to you uh, to present uh, uh, Park of Place for some improvements um, that we are looking forward to. Uh, exactly. If I may, Council, thank you so much for all the leadership that you have always given no us and the fair guidance and the support. Yeah, I mean, goes well, without saying, Council. Actually, this is on my choice. I looked at this when I first got elected six years ago to do something over here. And uh, it took a little while. Hopefully, uh, originally, one of the people that's right. you and the commissioner are being you know. And I'll be honest with you, originally, when we looked at this, we looked at it because Salem Street, um, the businesses were complaining, not complaining, they're concerned that they weren't getting a lot of foot traffic. And we had some consultants that from DMD actually looked at the business this year by Salem Street. And they suggested at that time to do like a pocket park here so bring people out of the neighborhood and the city. So I understand some of you have some concerns. So hopefully you'll like this. Um, um, I an idea. Um, they listened to your concerns last time, they said all people wanted to so, And then they came up with a decent plan, a nice plan that um, hopefully you will be happy with. All right, great. Uh, so just to go over some of the things that we went over last time, just in case you weren't here, or just to keep it fresh in your mind. Um, this is uh, Barker Place here. This is Salem Street running along the bottom. And above the so Barker Place is, is wide in the beginning and then gets more narrow. This wide section is uh, public uh, public works, publicly owned property, and the remaining section is, uh, is private. So our work will be focusing on uh, the public portion, which will be divided into two sections, which we call the plaza space, which is the area where we're hoping to put something special, and then the roadway space, which we keep clear for, obviously, for access down to the private road. Um, okay, so this is sort of a look at the, uh, at the basic repair, which would, uh, and again, please feel free to come up and take a look if you need to, uh, which would be just to, um, do some resurfacing. Folks, folks, can, can you see this? I, I truly apologize for this. Are you, are you okay? All right, good. Um, so this is a, this is the most basic um, repair that we're looking at right now, which would be you know a resurfacing of um, of this area, doing a nice uh, pavement treatment over here, which may be some kind of uh, imprinted treatment or something that looks you know may look like brick or something else, some sort of pattern on the pavement in the plaza space. Um, building across to create a, uh, a driveway and uh, having a nice flush crossing for accessibility and just you know, general ease of pedestrian travel and uh, the ballers around to uh, you know coordinate off from the, uh, the traffic. Um, this this space, however, does have an opportunity for enhanced public space. You know, we can do something. You know, put, program it with some sort of uh, enhancements to people to enjoy. Um, this was the original proposed design that many of you remember from our last meeting, which was on uh, you, September 11th. And um, it's better, of course. Let's go right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not the best laptop either. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so again, this is this was the concept we showed in the September 11th meeting which had, um, as you see here, the same uh, driveway treatment and the uh, pavement treatment, but at this time we were showing uh, the area cordoned off with some planters and showing potentially some uh, tables and chairs for people to, uh, to get. So that was, that was what we showed there. And then um, we got some comments on that. Um, there were comments about seating. There was a concern about you know people hanging out there, late night crowds and everything that tends to happen in the North End, and people congregating in there being loud in the evening hours. So that was one of the comments. Uh, another comment was um, about the plantings. Um, if we have plantings and the planters, you know, who's going to maintain them if they are there? And then, you know, are they going to get ripped up? Are people going to put trash in there? That type of thing. So there were some maintenance issues with, with the plantings. Um, uh, trees. Some people expe expressed a desire to uh, to install trees, so we wanted to take a look at that and see what was feasible. And uh, ballers, um, which we did, um, people expressed a desire to have some sort of decorative ballers as, as to sort of uh, cordon off that area. I think one of the 
the major concerns, as I recall, was also to keep trucks and vehicles from going there? Correct. Because right now it's yes. an all-day delivery zone, even though it says no parking. Right. So hopefully yeah, the idea would be to abolish the sort of cordon off that, that area to prevent stuff like that. Yes. Um, and one of the uh, design challenges that we have, um, of course, in, in this area is there's a bunch of utilities which make it kind of tricky for, you know, various things, pre planting as well as, you know, drainage structures and everything. You can't really see here, but as you can, there's, a, there's an electric bulb here and here, so um, it makes, you know, we have to be careful where we choose to install these things so we can't put them on top of an electric vault or utility line, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so just playing out the uh, design constraints. So taking that all into account, this is a this is a picture of our revised design. And uh, some of the highlights here are you still have your crossing here, your plaza space, your roadway space, all this would be resurfaced. And then in here we would do, you know, a fancier pavement treatment. Um, we have the ballers to cordon it off, and then we have a couple locations where we may be able to plant some small trees and some in some, in some plants. You know, these won't be large, you know, 30 feet trees. So they're going to be some small ones, um, and it also gives us the opportunity to put a couple um, bicycle racks, which I understand in the community is kind of tough to uh, to find a place to put your bike because the sidewalk is so narrow on Salem Street. Maybe a good place for people. Their, uh, their bicycles. Um, this is just a look at a couple. We talked to the parks department about some potential tree options. The ones shown are kind of like a, a magnolia tree. We also suggested a crab apple tree. I don't know if that one. You know, we can talk about the type of tree, but it needs to be one that's um, you know going to be going to be able to survive in a uh, in a small pot, and obviously not going to grow to large pots. Just an estimated project timeline, and again, this is contingent on the utility coordination that we need to do because we do need to get a, uh, a drainage structure in there to drain the public portion, which is now, um, you know, having some drainage issues and uh, drainage into the private way. So we want to make sure that we're, we're drain having that, that drainage go into the, uh, the public uh, drainage system. So that's going to take some coordination with the utilities. You saw there were a bunch of utilities in there, so we can get that, that line. So, assuming that goes smoothly, um, it would probably take about two months to design, and then the advertisement and approval of the project, three to four months, you know, getting that through the process, construction time one month, so we're looking at a timetable of approximately six to seven months if everything runs uh, smoothly. Yes? When, what, what specifically is the advertisement and approval? Is that working with the utilities? Uh, the, the advertisement would be, we, the design, we put together a design package, specs, plans, and then, and then put it out for a contractor to bid on. Oh, so okay. we'd, ad, we'd advertise it, we'd get the lowest bidder, and then, and then put it out, and then ask for the approval process, get all the okay. sign off and everything. So that takes a little bit of time. Um, so that's what that process is. Um, and then that is actually all I have to say. Um, and I'm sure you guys have some things to say. In terms of the, uh, the surface area, would, would you go in and, and remove the existing surface area to be grading in that area? Or is, is, is it, would it just be over top? And number two, would you actually be replacing the sidewalks in there as well as just trying to remove the existing area? Sure. Um, we would be the surface area. Uh, did, did everybody get the question? Did everybody hear this question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. So the first question was about uh, resurfacing. So in the, in this zone where you see the asphalt that's in the public space, yes, we would be resurfacing the whole thing and then giving this the uh, the special pavement treatment. So it would be all new asphalt. You know, we probably you know mill it down, grind it down, as we say, and do that. Uh, we I believe that there was recently some sidewalk work done, uh, but if there's anything that doesn't meet, um, you know. Americans with Disabilities Act and everything, um, we, can, we can certainly look at that. The section here was rehabbed. Yeah, the, the section here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and it may be necessary with um, the work that we're doing for the drainage to actually uh, put something under the sidewalk, so it may be uh, essential anyway. Um, but yeah, we would definitely be reconstructing the sidewalk across here as well. Yeah, and we have the design it, but the grading in there is a little wide. Towards the building. Exactly. So, yeah, we're going to have to grade it all so 
I'm going to probably put in the cut space right here, so we'll all have to grade into there. And then, uh, and I believe all of Salem Street is due for resurfacing from all that work they yeah. did, so correct. I would imagine that they would regrade everything sort of as one unit to make so yeah, they're all the, kind well, of ties together. The, um, yep, story on North Margin Street. You just mentioned a catch basin. Are there any other catch basins there or down Bartlett Place? And what is the condition of them? Um, there are no catch basins in the public portion of uh, Bartlett Place. I believe there is one further down in the private portion. So are you responsible for repairing that? Or? No, that is the private way. And the okay. yeah. there's, a, there's a grouping grid thing that you know, allows water to go through that says AT and T or something. I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's probably an electric manhole. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, it's got like a grid on it. Yeah, some of them will do. Um, yeah, but we don't have any um, assets in the in the private uh, portion. And um, two other questions: Are you going to be doing road control? Because there's yes. a that's no, on problem. any public works project. Um, that's standard. And the second question is. Um, Will let the roots of the trees be enclosed within a lower um, concrete barrier so it doesn't get into the base? The roots of the trees will be in these planters. They're, they're going to be in planters, so they're not going to be in the, in the ground. Okay, good. My biggest concern is you didn't have tables and chairs, right? No, this is just some trees and planters and a couple bike racks. That was, uh, based on the comments of the last meeting, that's not the direction I'm heading. The meeting is what the sign is Okay. Yeah, I know that we, it was part of the original plan and pretty much everybody unanimously agreed that anything that encourages people, encourages people hang to out, hang out, to hang out is gonna the, right. they're going to leave trash there, just like those beautiful tables outside the library. There's like always like spaghetti and pizza boxes and all kinds of stuff all over them. So yeah, we tried to steer away from that based on you guys' yeah. comments from, that, from the last meeting. The bike racks, I can't see the picture. Are there? Um, there's one. There's one here and there's one here, and obviously, you know, you want to come up and take a closer look. How far from? Because that's the front door to our building where the other bike rack is. How far is it from the door? Um, again, this is conceptual right now. We can obviously talk to you if you have an issue with the exact position of it. Um, you know, there are certain constraints, um, you know, based on where those electric faults and everything are mm -hmm. get installed in there. But, um, yeah, I mean, don't tie yourself to necessarily, you know, I can't say right now it's going to be 17 feet away from you right now. But we're looking to, and I, don't, I can't tell you it's going to be exactly this shape. This is just a picture mm -hmm. concept. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, do you have a particular concern that you? No, just that's the no. front door. If it's right there, there's also the lower unit that owners on here today, but the, the access around the side, but their front window is right in front of that, right behind that bike rack. So I think mm -hmm. they, they would be concerned about closing this to the front window. So right sure. into, their, into their place. Oh, I think the point that you may want to capture from here is and are you supportive of having bicycle racks as a programmable element? within this yeah, space. Yeah. So these fine engineers the may yeah, 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 as far as how yeah. many... I think the concept is great. People Absolutely. like a bicycle. Yeah. Where would you prefer they be? I think so. I mean, they are looking at looking at my personal aesthetic would say maybe the two trees are towards the front, closer to the curb, and then the bike racks behind them or something yeah. like that. Might be just much more yeah. aesthetic. Yeah. 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 It's not the rental, like, zip bikes now, yeah. whatever they have. No, I think you cover everything. That, I mean, my, again, I hate to keep talking on this, but my, with the bollards, <coughs> like the ones that are in front of um, uh, BE no. and those, those aren't really, we have they're to just kind of bolted yeah. in. I would ask that as much as possible they would go so really, really deep into yeah. the ground, because the planter that's there now it gets bumped around, and I, you know, a dozen times I've tried to jack it back in place with a pipe, but basically the trucks hit anything that. <coughs> yep. Definitely not. Is that front part the sidewalk or the flip right there from the street? Right, right here, right yeah. Here well, yeah. Yeah, well, we, right now this is all open, right. open and asphalt. Um, so we'd be extending the sidewalk across and just creating a, a, a driveway sort of entrance. Um, Yes, 
so as far as the uh, maintenance of the trees and that kind of thing go, have you pointed someone to that? The last time you mentioned something about the Rose Kennedy Greenway group for funding, that we're just going to be able to be associated with it. Or do we need to appoint? Um, the maintenance issue is still up in the air. Um, we're happy to take on um, there's any volunteers. Well, that so to, yeah. I uh, manage the hundred sale with the sure. laundry and the uh, seven bar behind it. And uh, speaking for Andy Tom King, the owner, you know, it's happy to help us. And, and, okay. Um, but just wondering if that was going to be taken place by committee or uh, um, are you going to handle it? Yeah, exactly. I think as as this thing uh, as this thing develops and we figure out what exactly what trees we're going to put in there and everything, um, we'd love to have that conversation with you. Well, and so also the time. type of trees that would be put in, is there, are you mentioned a crab apple one before, is that going to attract rodents? Oh. Going to what, I'm sorry. Attract rodents? Uh, again, we're not necessarily tied to any Just particular wanted to throw it out there if you had it. Tree. Um, yeah, no, th those are two that were mentioned with the Parks Department. If you guys have mentioned the crab apples, the other one was the magnolia that he mentioned, and maybe, maybe there's some others that we can get into the conversation. Those were two. That, that they they come up with so um, I would speak. I would think they would know better than anybody. Would. Yeah, well, they suggest that well because, because it would do well in a in a, in a confined right. space. Yeah. As well. so, um, but but I think your your point and my ignorance. Crab apple trees produce a lot more As soon as I heard it. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. you don't want nice little fruits exactly. over there yeah. to find a little interesting pearl if crabs are coming at night. Exactly. So That's let's try and balance. I can't hear. Let's balance a small tree that doesn't bloom and block your front window. It needs to grow in limited space, in not too much sunlight, shady. But leafy, that doesn't shed a lot of leaves because then someone's got to go and pick something like that. Yeah, exactly. And the parks department are the eminent agency who is qualified to give us that choice. But we will work very closely with whoever that's willing to maintain it. Because at the end of the day, that party needs to be um, agreeable to what we are doing, and are you such a person who might? <laughs> well, we'll have to you, work that out. You might be our best friend. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking for myself. Because the. I know Andy has a, there's a spigot that comes out of the side of the building that might, you know, during dry months maybe we can use to water it or something. A yeah. couple of trees, we, we need to formalize it because. Sometimes the excitement is there mm -hmm. when we start a project. Six months later, mm -hmm. it's hard for us. Well, like I said, I don't want to, you know, confirm anything or put them into it. But Charter Street Park we maintain, so, so yeah. like you are so sort of in the business, and <laughs> you might be able to help. Like all of them will be very appreciative. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's you know in everybody's best right. interest, but exactly. especially our tenants have you know that area right outside, so. One more issue I wanted, and I think I know this is the uh, EPW, so I think this is probably more for Sal than anything. As you know, there's a huge trash problem there right now. Um, I think we would need to try and work with the neighbors. Well, number one, try and get one of the small trucks to go down Bartlett Place the way they're supposed to, and I guess they used to years ago, and actually pick up, up from the buildings in the alley itself. I know they do that in some of the other. They won't do it. Yeah, they won't do it. My son has a building there, 15,000. It's private work. They have oh, really? to take it up. They pay the tax, though. Plenty yeah. of tax. Listen. This place. I live in my family. I grew up in Drake Place, by the way, in East Boston. And we had to do the same thing. We have to take the trash off the Chelsea Street so the trash guys can go. So now it's all going to sit like on the curb out there, and not only is it all, I, I don't know if any of you have seen that it's a pile the size a pile of the table. My <laughs> understanding is other properties put out their trash Correct. over there. So what we might have to do is get code enforcement out there to issue violations to those properties. Yeah. The only ones that should be putting trash out there are the people that live in Bartlett Place. Yeah. I know the many. people next to Terra Mia, actually Andy's building, they all put it there too. And I'm, I know I've seen people from across the street yeah. by Benevento's. Be oh, that's why, see? 
they should be doing but yes, no, before this company took over, they did pick it up. They did pick it up. I think they're 20 yeah. years yeah. with Caronia. Right and the garbage truck always backed the truck down yeah. to as far as they can go. And then they just they walked just down yeah. and just picked up the trash in front of everyone's door. Well, they the always did it. I know it. I've seen it. Yeah. <coughs> I know they go down Lombard Place, which I'm pretty sure is a private way. I don't know um, no, they don't. why they don't, don't anymore. Um, I don't know. The but Vermont everybody used to leave. There was never uh, a pile of trash, a trash out there until whoever then, put that um, flower thing there. I mean, and not that I'm not saying that they weren't trying to do something nice, but I'm sure you were. But that became just a garbage. So was the last time they collected the garbage on the bottom place? With after when the other company the city was there. How many years? Oh, the city. I don't know. They haven't picked it up since I've been there, and I've been there since. What's the new company? Yeah, they don't have any more trash. Yeah, they have the trash. Yeah, they have the trash. The city is not paying the contract that they're supposed to get up. Now that could be written into a contract and change that. It's also an insurance problem when the city truck goes into the private property. Okay, um, so there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a trash issue. Um, there's a trash issue, and that's. It'll be yeah, sorry for How are you going to take that back? Um, yeah. Do sure. you have permission? We'll, 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 we'll take, take it back, back to. Uh, yes. Um, what, what, is the, what is the purpose of that roadway? Is that an emergency access? The purpose of what? The roadway, that the public mm -hmm. roadway. Oh well, this is this is a private this is a public roadway that's open to public travel, and there's a private way that's open to public travel as well. Well, that's not just an emergency. Well, it's definitely fire. I mean, y yes, obviously it could you certainly would be used for emergency access. But yes, it goes for hospitals. But that's not the exclusive purpose. It's a, it's a private way. Yeah. No, that was the barn. Sir, my team would get was the whole state portion. Yes, you certainly. Yeah, in fact, there was a stable down. There was the barn down there. So the horses, they haven't fixed that street since the horses left. It was like a city stable. A hundred years ago. Yeah, you can still read the sign up there, actually. Yeah. Is the, the plan going to include um, paving all the way down Bartlett Place, or is it no, just No, just in the public portion, that's all we can do, because it's only that's the public property. The rest of it is the private property. Is that from the design side? I would like to Is there a reason that you're just keeping the sanctity of the, the roadway appearance on the portion of the scheme? That actually is a driveway. Could you not make that front space feel like one bigger plaza from the paving pattern, but keep it functional? Um, I mean, it's just a matter of you're driving over it and you've got the drive access to it. It's just a matter of what the treatment is for the road surface or the, the plazas, as opposed to it feeling like the plaza space and then the roadway space. You extended that same kind of a treatment or design element. Are you saying eliminates the permit? I'm not saying designer, I just asked the question. Does this portion have to look like a road? Could you not do the nice type of treatment? It sounds like it's going to the imprint. But could you make this whole space feel like your front plaza as opposed to a roadway and then shop plaza? The concern, it's an excellent point. The concern comes from liability. In case if something goes wrong, because eventually there's a desire to program activities on that space, we want to make sure that the path that leads to Bartlett Place, that a pedestrian who uses that area clearly understands it's a road. It is not a place where I can put a chair and sit or sit on the ground or whatever. So from a liability perspective, it needs to function as a road, sure. so it should look somewhat like a road. So that's why we want to make that distinction between play area, for a lack of a better choice of words, and a part where a car should freely be able to go without giving a pedestrian a false sense of security. That is what our biggest fear is, a false sense of security to someone who might be in that space and then lose concentration, and then a car comes, and then we have an awkward situation. I assume there's also be signage that says no parking, no you know, fire lane, all that. Exactly. Even though it never helps. But. 
uh, but the science will be there, so if there should be a situation, the situation can be managed because the science. Are there. there are also signs on the sidewalk that are up against um, 98 Salem Street, Terramia's building, and people are using that as um, to lock up their bikes. I was just wondering if those signs could maybe be removed and just put on the building, those poles. So that it will alleviate um, bike and motorcycle. Well, hopefully, they put their bikes on the bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I apologize. Yeah, prior to this design, we're going to put a couple bike racks right, right here. So that hopefully, we can alleviate some of that uh, problem that you've Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, do we, can we get a sense of whether you like this or yeah. whether you don't like this? Uh, can I? Let me ask it. Is there a question? Is there anyone here who doesn't like it? I wish I could. Okay, so. Do you see more of it? I can't really see it. I'm so sorry for that. No, I can't. Yeah, come so, on up uh, after or right now or whatever. So, do we have your. What's the best way? Do we have your show? Can I see a show of hands just for my amusement? Awesome. So, we have your support to move forward. Much appreciation has to go to both the city councillor and Nicole Liu with the mayor's office. Thank you. Thank you. And, and some of the key abutters, some of the key abutters who have been instrumental in giving us guidance. Without your guidance, we couldn't bring this to where we are. So we're definitely so, looking like before next winter. I mean, Oh, yes. I mean, with your blessing, there's no point us yeah, we're gonna try uh, try pulling around. Yeah, because it's August, well, I guess, yeah, 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 so we'll, we'll, we're going to try, yeah, again, utility thing, may, yeah. may, may we'll do the, the, the feast celebration stuff. Oh, summer and then well, the annual, we'll try to bag it up as soon as possible. Oh, we got ladies, is that kind of out of budget? Yeah, it's the well, opportunities that are there, we talked about it. Uh, I know it becomes an issue because of the utilities. Yeah, of the utilities and yeah. Yeah. It's really limited options. There is a light pole right here not shown in the picture. There's limited other places. But folks, on a parallel talk, yes, what is that? can I just have your attention yes. for a moment, Silver Blade? The two trees, we need someone's help to keep those two trees alive. That is serious. It would be because now these guys are going to pass track this baby. I mean they don't waste time. It's very evident that you want the city to make this thing happen. We have the support of the councillor, you, all of us. So hate to have a hiccup in about three weeks to a month's time. So now I'm asking the more difficult questions. Who is going to help us? And I know there's a nice lady over there. We have a separate meeting with just the regular, with just the director. Yeah. Who can who can help us? Um, because we really need to know. Like, uh, yeah, having a separate meeting with the abutters is a good idea. Yeah. You know? Can yeah. you? Yeah, I can commit to a separate meeting and or take your contact information. And exactly. Make sure we get so we can meet with Caller and represent. Oh, yeah. sure. okay. Because you will make this thing mm -hmm. nice and. I, mean, I, I can help keep it clean. Water is another issue. Andy well, there's a, a, spigot, there's there's a spigot on the side of the building. Right, so if, yeah, if Andy wants to commit to it, then I'll let them do that. People awesome. Really. It gives you a space. They can do it. Okay. Any, uh, anything else? Or, uh, so we have your support and blessing? Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you all very much. This was, this was great. Oh, have you all signed up? Oh, yeah, there's a sign-in sheet. Don't get to leave much. <laughs>